Welcome to the how to upload Tutti Public automatically video. In the beginning, I should give you some general information about Tee Public. So Tee Public is part of Redbubble. Redbubble bought Tee Public a few years ago, and very important for you, Tee Public is known that it often bans accounts very fast. It is hard to say why this exactly happens, but it is possible that you register and you do nothing or you upload like two designs and then your account is gone. You will receive some kind of a standard email and you can also write them back, but uh, they probably won't answer again. As I mentioned, it's hard to say why exactly this happens. I can or I want to give you some general tips I experienced over the last few months. So the public is seeing itself as a platform, as a print on demand site for art. So I would highly recommend to you not to upload scaled designs. Really put unique own designs from you to the public. Also no uh, vexels, for example, from some stock photo site designs, really concentrate on own art. The second thing is don't use the whole upload limit. I think the public has like an upload limit of 50 designs per day. Don't use it to upload every day from the first day 50 onwards. Upload like five the first day, then maybe five the second day and after one week you upload like 10 or 15 per day. So simply don't reach the upload limit. It's just a guess from me, but I could imagine that they have maybe some system who yeah, is triggered when you reach the daily upload limit from day one, for example. And yeah, these are the two most important tips and tricks I can give you here. As I mentioned, it is just a feeling and a guess uh, from my experience I had or we had with the public over time. If it is really the solution, probably not. But this should help you to get started safely and also to get your account here. And now I show you how the upload process on the public in general works. Despite the fact that the public is banning accounts very fast, the public itself is a very good print on demand platform. Also the upload process is very easy and clean. You go here to the top right on upload art and then you can upload here a single file or multi files. We upload a single file and then you can simply drag and drop your image here. And when this happens, the mask will open here where you can enter your title, your main tag, your description and also the other tags. Then you can also select here the products you want to have and also always the default color. And then you have here the colors and of course here the other products. There are not so many products, so this is also the reason why the upload process is, is very clean. So you simply select the product you want to have, then you can scale it here or yeah, center it or something like that. And if you have this done for the products, you can simply click on publish and then your design is available on T public. And now because you have to do the can do this manually one by one or automatically with flying upload and there it is also very clean and very simple and how this works i show you now so what do you need now for your automatic t public upload i can tell you not much the first thing is always the same it is at least one design in flying upload with a finished listing with title descriptions and tags Important for the public, you saw a moment ago, it has a main tag. The first tag here in Flying Upload will always be the main tag on T public. And the second thing you need for your configuration is in Options, Settings, then Auto Login, and then here T public. You enter here your user and your password, and then click Save. Again, also here for T public, your password or your 
login data is just stored locally on your PC. No one has access, it is encrypted, it is as safe as possible. And then you basically did your whole configuration for TeePublic. If you go to the template section, you will find no TeePublic here. And the reason for this is Flying Upload will scale your design always to a certain size. It's 4,500 by 5,400 pixels format, and then it will upload these for all uh, products available on TeePublic. You saw also a moment ago, there aren't so many products. And based on your options here for men, women, youth, and also for the colors, black, white, colorful, it knows which products it should, um, yeah, enable which background it should enable and through the format that flying upload sets automatically it knows also how to positions all the products and how this looks like and how the automatic upload works i show you now then let's start our automated upload you go here to the upload section and then you click start for t public then this window will open. This is also the minimum size that should your yeah, upload window always have. Of course, you can also make it full screen and then it will log in. And when this has happened, it will also start the upload process you saw also before manually. It will select here the single file upload, then it will load now your design you have in flying upload. And when your artwork is checked by the public and everything is fine, then flying will also begin to enter all the data, the title, the main tag, the first one you had, the description and also all the other tags. And through the edit of your design, as I mentioned before, it will now also select the background color, it will enable all available products, it will automatically place your design on all the available products. And then it will also publish your design and this is it. It is now available on T public and this is how the automated upload works and at the end i want to show you potential errors that could happen during the upload but no worries t public has no template settings so from configuration side it can't be can't go much wrong it's yeah very very small things that can happen the one main thing that is the same for every platform is when flying opens initially this is the minimum size your browser should have and of course if you make it full screen it is even better because then flying can click and there is less risk that there is like some kind of click interception because a certain element can't be uh, yeah, found here during the upload process. Also again, a background upload is possible. So you can make here uh, other listings or you can also watch a series, whatever. This is possible. What is not possible is that you minimize the upload window because when it is minimized, flying can't click. And after some time, it would simply get a timeout. So the browser would close with an error and simply start again and try again and yeah this is like the error that can happen with the browser size that is simply too small um, another thing that maybe happens on t public is that there are servers are sometimes not the strongest or not always available so it is possible that like the upload starts and it loads forever on a site or the image doesn't get uploaded this is something we can't really influence because it's coming from the public then simply wait a bit uh, after yeah 
an hour or two it's usually always fixed or back to normal and then the public also works um, yeah again and the upload should be successful so the only real thing that can happen here is the browser window that is maybe too small and yeah if you keep this in mind then your upload should be successful and you can start also your print on demand business on T public